Okay, everyone. So today I'll show you how to create uh, this uh, cup model. During the process of modeling this cup, I'll show you um, combine object, separate object, uh, snap function, and insert edge loop too. You can find the download link below. And at the link, you'll have um, the notes folder, which has my notes regarding all the key steps. And you'll also be able to download the finished stage of the model. All right, so let's get started. So we'll start with uh, a polygon primitive, a cylinder, and we can go to its input setting here, and we can um, give the subdivision x uh, instead of twenty. We'll put forty to give it more details here, and then for subdivision height, let's put ten. All right. And we can change the radius as um, 5, make it bigger, and the height as 10, or maybe even more, 15. Wait, too much, maybe 12. All right, so now let's uh, denote all the faces on the top. Um, so you can go in face selection mode and hold down shift K and select all the faces on the top or you know you can go to the front view and grab and make a selection to all the faces on the top and on the side and then hold on control to deselect any of the faces okay so now we only have the top faces selected and then hit denate to denate the top faces and then Make sure you are still in face selection mode and double click on any face on the side. So you will be able to select all the faces on the, um, on the cylinder. And we'll go to edit mesh and I'll apply a extrude. You can change the thickness. So uh, let's do maybe 0.4, maybe too thin. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5 should be good. All right. So once you're done, um, go back to object selection mode, and let's uh let's preview the smooth mode, and see how it looks. So if you press three, the number three key, on your keyboard, and then basically this a uh, preview how your model will be looks like if you actually you apply a smooth command to it. All right. So now you can see that the top of the cup is a little bit too sharp and the bottom is too rounded. Okay, so what I can do is um, press 1, the number 1 key, and then we'll uh, use a tool called uh, Insert Edge Loop. So with Object Selection Mode, hold on Shift and click on your mouse right button and you'll find Insert Edge Loop too. So we'll um, go to its uh, setting box and then in the tool setting let's reset the tool so set it as a default setting and then let me explain over here the setting so basically by default you will use the relative distance from edge so what that means is basically um, with this tool it depends on where you click and depends on where you click, you will create a uh, edge loop. Start from that point. Okay. Uh, so no matter where you click, it will create a edge loop from the point you click. All right. So let's go back. So if you use multiple edge loops, and you can set a spec specific number here. So if you do multiple edge loop, what you gonna do is see if I click on here on the top. But you're going to create edge loops somewhere else, which is, you know, evenly divide uh, this edge by the number you typed. So if I just just put one here, and then I click here. So if I click on the bottom, I still add an edge loop in the center, and you divide this edge by, uh, you know, by two. Uh, you add one edge loop. And I divide it by two. And here I add two edge loop and divide it by three. Okay, so you got the idea. 
and let me go back. So what I want to do is I'll just use a relative distance from edge and I would like to add an edge loop here on the top and in the inner side I would also add one edge loop close to the top. And now if you go back to edge selection mode and he, uh, see now we are still uh, using the uh, insert edge loop tool is still highlighted. So if you press Q, QK as quit, so you will quit the tool. All right. So now select our model and press 3K, and this is how the cup looks after we add the edge loop. So basically, what happened is uh, we add edge loop to tighten the top, you know, to sharpen it, and same thing for the bottom. So if we go back here, and if I go uh, insert edge loop, and add one closer to the bottom, and go to its inner side, and add one closer to the bottom as well, and hit QK to quit the tool, QK, all right, and go back to object mode, and press 3. So now you can see the bottom is also tightened. same um, as the inner side. All right, so this is what we want. And we'll go back to um, the normal display mode, press one. Okay, so now we'll add the ear for the cup. So what we'll do is we'll um, dig a hole here first, and instead of uh, select any faces and denate, what I would do is I would uh, um, just uh, select the faces that's along the axis, either this axis, which is a Z axis, or the X axis. So the reason why I choose the faces along the um, axis is because when I do that, I can make uh, the cup symmetry. If you do it here, you don't know how much degree you have, right? So I would select these two faces, one on the left side of Z, one on the right side and here and hit denate. The reason I denate uh, and I dig a hole so later I'm going to create uh, the ear and uh, insert it in. Okay so now let's see for this hole I denated how many edges does it have. So let me do a math how many edges. Uh, one two three four five six so basically three edges along the hole here as, a, as well. So if I create the ear separately and insert it in, and if I want to merge the ear, the cup's ear, to the cup's body, so I need to make sure the ear has six edges in total as well, so I can merge every edge and every vertex to the ear. All right, so that's the concept. Okay, so let's go to create and polygon primitive. And let's do a torus, and it will be created here. Here it is. Okay, so I'll go to input setting, and we'll go back here subdivision height. So instead of twenty, so I'll do six. So it only has a six edges, right? And I will make it bigger by changing the radius as a four. Okay. And let's see, section radius we can do one, maybe bigger, maybe too much, maybe 0.7. All right, so now what I would do is I would uh, go to face selection mode and denate uh, a half of it. All right, okay, so now I would uh, rotate it in 90 degree. Here, I would go to rotate Z and put 90 and then bring it in. So I will select this object and the cut body and then go to tomato mesh and combine them together as one mesh. And then I will go to vertex and I would uh, select each individual vertex and hold down V, V as a snap. See as I hold down V, here it highlighted and also here it has a circle to it. So once I hold on V and I can grab the vertex and uh, bring it onto the vertex on the on the body, and same thing here, snap, 
Same thing here, snap. All right, so now I have snapped it, um, them together. So let's see, it looks like uh, it stay together, but if I press uh, three, smooth, and you can see here, it looks strange. So normally if um, they have been merged together, they are, you know, the edges and the vertex have been merged together. So once I press three, it's gonna smooth out. So here should be a round shape, but it is not. So if I um, select this model, and if I select the faces along here, and if I move it, so the vertex just stay on the same position, they are not actually merged. So that means if I press 1, um, so I should merge them together. So what I will do is I will go to vertex selection mode and grab all of these vertex here and hold on shift and uh, use my mouse right button click and here merge vertex and apply merge vertex so once applied you see some minor change happen here so now if I press 3 it has been uh, smoothed out so that means here it's merged they stay on the same position and also it's merged uh, but here is not okay so let's do the same thing so I will select the vertex here Oh, the vertex here, and then go to merge vertex. All right. So pretty much this is how you would create a cup 